Please stand and face the flag and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the forecast. I'm Marky. And I'm Nikki. We hope everyone's having a terrific Tropical Tuesday. Stay tuned for an in-studio interview with Girls Tennis and a segment on Tuesday's trying one of your favorite apps. yearbook spring supplement in the commons during lunch on Wednesday and Thursday of this week. If you ordered a yearbook last school year, stop by and get your copy. Homecoming shirts can be purchased for $12 in the school store. There's a limited supply and they're going fast, so get yours today. Now let's head on over and hear from our very successful girls tennis team. I'm with the girls tennis team, Mac, Jordan, uh, Brittany, Sarah, and Christine. So guys, what's your motto for this year? Our motto this year is all in. This means being 100% committed to every practice, every match, and every shot. Because a hesitant, a hesitant athlete, athlete is a non-athlete. <laughs> nice. What are some goals for this season? Uh, some of our goals, we want to encourage each other, and we want to get better each practice, and we want to compete as hard as we can. As far as aspirations go, we'd like to be uh, conference champions as well as section champions, and hopefully be able to be a Dinah and head to state. Great. Now, when are you guys' next match? Our next match is today at 3.30 versus Roseland. Well, you heard it. Be there or be square. Now back to the anchors. <laughs> East U Gymnastics will hold an informational meeting on Wednesday, September 23rd in the team room next to the girls' locker room. Meetings will take place before school or after school on Wednesday. The East U boys' freshman soccer team played a hard-fought battle and came away with a 5-0 win. Four of the points scored during the game were from players coming off the bench. The win was a great team effort. With deteriorating weather conditions, the East U freshman girls' soccer team Played a hard and determined played hard and determined soccer. ECU shook off a sluggish start against Shakopee to score a three to one win. <laughs> Leap <laughs> the Lightning Environmental Awareness Program is having its first meeting Wednesday, September twenty third, after school in C three thirty seven. If you're interested in the environment and in making a difference, this is a place for you. Everyone is welcome. Anya showed Eastview teachers the new features on Snapchat. Here are the hilarious results. Yeah, Snapchat. Love it. Don't use it, but I'm sure it's great. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Raise your eyebrows. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it? You said that was weird. That's my normal face. Here you go. Like, will you? You have to hold it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like three eyes. Oh. not. Oh. Right. Oh. Right. Oh. Yeah, that was good. That was good. There will be an informational Business Professionals of America meeting for anyone interested in joining this organization. Wednesday, September 23rd after school or Thursday, September 24th before school in room C239. Here are your medallion clues. Medallion hunt day two. The first indoor clue is, you'll find me in the third year of high school. The second clue is, where you can park your car for free. See Mr. Kelly in C232 with the found medallion to claim prize. Indoor medallion hunt clue number two. You'll find me in the third year of high school. Outdoor medallion hunt clue number two, where you can park your car for free. I hope everyone has a great rest of their week. Be sure to dress wacky for Wacky Wednesday. See you See later. later.